Hey, my gems, my gem babies. It's your girl, Wicked Witch of the South, aka Magical Goon. We're gonna get into your reading, general reading. Um, today is I never know the freaking I never know the date. Y'all don't judge me. January tenth, Tuesday, January tenth. Happy Happy Taco Tuesday, my Gemini's. <laughs> <laughs> now we finna get into your reading though general it's not specific about love or career if anything about the bag comes out or love we're gonna speak on it get into it there may be numerous storylines whatever comes out we're gonna talk about it so when doing your pre shuffle gemini i did have a message for you um the number 22 may be significant and with the number 22 mirroring each other that is that gemini energy that duality um, so we have demand what is yours and take back what was taken reclaim until you gathered all of you so that message is for some of you Gemini's and then of course <laughs> we have the energy of seeking revenge Gemini's whether that's you seeking revenge on someone or someone seeking revenge on you either way boo I don't judge if you feel just and you about to get revenge on that ass do it strategically and do what you do all right let's get into your reading let's go as i mentioned to y'all i do have i got a couple um of them dolls on my site link will be in the description let's move along let's get into this energy to get some specifics this is for my gemini What you got for my Gemini's January 10th, Tuesday, January 10th. What's the overall messages that you have for my Gemini's? Last reading, the last two readings that um, revenge energy was just lingering over the over the reading just to let you know so we have the eight of cups can you see this all right eight of cups could be a disappointment it's also the energy of walking away from something Could be physically or could be emotionally with that cup energy then we have the king of swords which is your energy gemini libra aquarius what else do we have for my gemini just gonna i'm gonna try to make this quick reading because i got to go i got to take my baby somewhere so ace of pentacles beautiful we have the the hangman and the two of cups I absolutely love these cards all right Gemini and at the bottom we have the seven of cups so there may be some illusion or there may be plenty of options and choices let me take a look at this I'm gonna be right back with you to let you know exactly what I see all right, my gems, let's get into this. I see exactly what's going on here. So we have the Eight of Cups to the King of Swords to the, which is your energy, Ace of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Cups. So straight off the rip, I see a lot of you Geminis are walking away from something that had you feeling unfulfilled just completely emotionally drained um, and just feeling like you need a, re a renewal or a change. So you are walking away from something, most definitely. The theme around the Eight of Cups is um, initially just being unfulfilled in general and just walking away from something. So we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords, which is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, with the king of swords you know the king of swords is he's impartial he can be judgmental but he upholds rules he's fair he's honest he's, he could be a judge lawyer but with this king of swords energy 
I just see you were doing everything by the books. You were being just. You were following the rules. I may have been to a, a point where it felt like you were sacrificing a lot of yourself. Um, staying in a place where you were emotionally unfulfilled. Then we come into the Ace of Pentacles, which is beautiful, my gems. Ace of Pentacles. You know, that Ace of Pentacles, as I always say, that's that prosperity. That could be around work, love, um, especially here with the Two of Cups. It could be prosperity around a relationship, but I most definitely see around work. So that Ace of Pentacles is that prosperity, that good fortune um, for you Geminis. Some reward could be coming in. Also for some of you Geminis, there could be a promotion in a current place of work. You may be still thinking about walking away from that employment or um, going into a new line of work or maybe something in the same field, but just a new job. Something that brings you security with the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be graduating, wrapping something up, but with the hangman, I do see you guys having a new perspective on something most definitely. So that hangman energy, the theme around that is sacrifice. With that hangman, it can be feeling restrained and that combination of feeling restrained and unfulfilled is, it's a, it's an ugly energy. So I'm glad that some of you Geminis are walking away into this Ace of Pentacles energy, getting a new perspective on something. Yeah, because with this hangman, that's that's the feeling of limitations. Um, definitely getting a new perspective, letting go, walking away, letting go meditating on something just really taking the time to go into think mode so this could be around a partnership with the two of cups so this two of cups that's good communication that's harmony that's enjoyment that's friendship so there could be collaboration coming in for some of you gemini's that put you in the think mode thinking should you walk away from this unfulfilled um, situation there may be an offer with the ace of pentacles that allows you to do so this could be entrepreneurial for some of my gemini's but with the ace of pentacles smack dad in the middle for you guys it is something thrilling that around money prosperity so for a lot of you Gemini's who have been putting in that work as I always say it is the beginning of you know security around the coin good fortune rewards if you've been doing the work a new job starting something new and money that feels like it's a gift to you from the universe so we're gonna get some more details on this so we can clarify because we know see much time we got left okay let's get into it oh yeah and with the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck that seven of cups energy is like that daydreaming energy it can also be that creativity um you know you being at a crossroads which i do see that here gemini on whether to move forward and leave something be behind that is just not fulfilling you um but doing it you know in a strategic fair, honest, impartial way. That's for sure. So, as soon as your instinct, you will be able to move forward. You'll be able to move forward. <laughs> I see a lot of you Geminis walking away. But, yes, with the Seven of Cups, that's that daydreaming energy. Um... You know, the sevens in the tarot are usually waiting, a waiting period, reflection. And we can see that here with the hangman. So, you guys with that seven of cups also may have a lot of choices. All right. This is my deck, my booze. Magical goon. Link in the description if you want it. What else we got for my Gemini's?
yeah for some of my gemini's like the way that in this eight of cups it's like you want to walk away but there's just something that just feels like it's just pulling you back into the same cycle and you just want something new you are ready for something new so we have smoke and mirrors Some Gemini's, you may not be seeing everything clearly at this time, or there's some gaslighting. So that's why you're in that think mode, that hangman, you know, contemplating, getting a new perspective on things. We also have good intentions. So yeah, a lot of you Geminis are moving with integrity. You guys do have good intentions. There may even be good intentions around this offer, this collaboration that comes in with this Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups. We have the two here. Yeah. Do not disturb. Yeah, a lot of you guys are on think mode. So you guys may be kind of, not really, kind of, you know, isolating yourself, staying to yourself. Um just trying to go over this scenario and think about your next move and how to walk away from this situation and still be successful speak your truth stop holding your tongue express yourself time for truth so for a lot of you gemini's it is time to speak on some shit speak your truth whether it's in a love relationship friend relationship a job situation it's time to speak on that shit speak your truth don't hold your tongue. There's always ways to say things. I know you're Gemini. My babies could be blunt. I know y'all for that, but yeah. So I do see you, Gemini, walking away potentially from something. But there will be a new opportunity and money and maybe love. Definitely a par partnership. So just pay my bills and that fell under the two of cups. <laughs> so for my Gemini's who are here about love, you are, some of you Gemini's are looking for a new love, but the new love got to have the coin, got to have the piggy bank, right? I'm just telling you what I see. The bottom of the deck here, this card has been stalking y'all, success. So I do see for a lot of you Gemini's, if you do decide to walk away from an unfulfilled situation, there may be new love, there may be a new work opportunity or opportunity around the coin. So that's beautiful. All right, I gotta wrap this up, my Gemini. Cause y'all know I love to give y'all a long reading about everything that I see here, but I gotta wrap this up. All right, for my Gemini, tell me more. Okay, don't let your past hold you back. So a lot of you Gemini's may have failed in the past at something, maybe have walked away from something in the past and it did not work out the way that you wanted to. There was maybe a disappointment around love or money, but I'm telling you don't let your past hold you back. Don't let those past failures or those past experiences hold you back. Always, like I say, move strategically, but don't let that shit hold you back. And that's the south node. The bottom here, we have a fiery climax approaches. So either way, it looks like something is going to go down. <laughs> what else we got for my Gemini's? We're going to go into the fortune cookie deck because I got to wrap this up. What you got for my Gemini's? Yeah, for my Gemini's, I'm getting you need to look at it from another point of view or another perspective. <laughs> Here, this stuck out to me. It says, we dare you. So it is definitely time to take a leap of faith. Don't let your past hold you back. That two of cups could also be like that, that inner balance. 
definitely enjoyment around something that you do. So, okay. So, reinvent yourself. Yeah, for you, some of you Geminis, you will know if this is your reading. There is this energy of walking away from what makes you feel unfulfilled big time into a new opportunity. Whether that's you making that opportunity for yourself, looking at stuff from a new perspective, not letting your past hold you back. And being in that King of Swords energy, taking that sword and literally, well, don't, don't, yeah, don't cut nobody, but <laughs> figuratively, you know, just cutting things out of your life that do not align with your purpose, do not align with what you want to do for a living, do not align with your lifestyle, do not, cutting that shit out entirely and moving forward. So reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. All right, my gems. I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Later.